Well, annual open exhibitions are always very special, very different each year to the next. You never know what you're going to get, and they're open to all levels of experience. In this particular annual open, the Bath Society, um, anyone aged 18 and over can enter. Someone could be exhibiting for the first time ever next to um, a well-known artist who practices full-time. Uh, so it really is a golden opportunity for many artists and to just see a fantastic variety of work here. Whatever your tastes or interests, there's sure to be something you'll like. It, it, it's a real good example of artistic creativity in the area. Mm. A, a real mixture of art too we've got here. Mm, yep, so you'll find paintings, drawings, prints, sculptures, um, all sorts of different media on display within the galleries. We've got um, just short of 370 artworks exhibited within the space today and that's out of it was approximately 1,200 submissions, so it was a record year this year. It was the highest number of submissions ever received. Okay, so it's not that easy to get in. You have to go through a, a judging process. It is a competitive process, and there's lots of fantastic artwork in the exhibition, but also many brilliant pieces that didn't get through. In fact, some of my favourites didn't get voted through. <laughs> and it, everything, what's special about the Bath Society Open is that we still have a... a a traditional hand-in day where the works are brought physically to the gallery and pass in front of the panel one at a time to be voted on so you get to see everything in real life and in this digital age there isn't all that much of that anymore. This is your first open exhibition here at Bath. You've come into the city from Bristol from the mm. Royal West of England Academy. What do you think of it all? I'll it's been very um, different and quite fascinating working in both Bristol and Bath. The two cities have very different identities, really thriving creative um, scenes in each city. So I'm getting to know Bath now and this is a fantastic way to get to know the artists of and the people working here in Bath and the creativity that's on the doorstep here. Apart from locals who of course can come in and use their discovery card if they've got one to get in for nothing, uh, Bath during the summer has thousands and thousands of tourists. How do you go about persuading them in? I mean, it's, it's two double doors on the corner of a building. It's not that obvious a gallery. Well, we are right in the epicentre near, you know, the major heritage sites like the Roman Baths and the Abbey. Um, and this exhibition... It's one that's it's very democratising. It's um, an exhibition that you don't need to know anything about art to come to. Um, you don't have to worry that you need to be knowledgeable about a certain subject. You can come in with a completely um, open perspective and there's so much on display you know, out of the 370 odd works that there's something to suit every taste and every budget as pretty much everything is for sale. Pre and pretty much everything, what, what isn't? There are a few works, um, the exhibitions have an in memoriam section each year to commemorate artists from the society who have passed, sadly, in the past year or so. So those works aren't for sale, but there's only three. So everything else in the exhibition you'll find for sale, and that starts from as little as £60. And those proceeds go entirely um, to the artists, to the Bath Society and to the Victoria Art Gallery to ensure that we can keep um, putting on this exhibition for many years to come. You have a sort of star board here for a special exhibitor. Mm. Yes, so each year there's an invited artist. So that is an artist who's um, particularly notable for their practice in a certain um, discipline. And this year it's Ros Ford, who you can see over here. And she's a Bristol-based painter and printmaker. So she has a slightly larger section to her. Uh, celebrate her work and having her in the exhibition so we're really delighted that she accepted the invitation. Well I've got to say weather wise so far this spring it's pretty much been grey skies today's an exception. Mm. I have to say if you have a chance to come in through those double doors there's plenty of colour in here. Yes it's a fantastically colourful varied exhibition and so even on a drizzly day you can escape it within the galleries.